morning on this beautiful Wednesday morning, the 7th of December, if I remember correctly. Just a short update from newsroom KSB, not so bad. A fabulous sunrise this morning. The water is very, very calm. Calm. Nothing to write home about. Lots of kind of weed on the water. Sort of brownish weeds, seaweeds. They come in sort of really, really, really patches, big patches. So when we're fishing, it kind of interferes with the line. So we've stopped fishing. Sunday the 11th, 11th and Sandra's caught another fish. It seems to be the same type as we caught the other day. It's slightly smaller I'd say, which is a pity, but I think it's big enough for us to eat. The last one we had on Friday it was really delicious. So we'll keep this little guy and we'll have him as well. Nice. along uh, nicely. The problem that we're having really is that the wind is only seven knots, giving us five and a half or so knots uh, in the uh, 14 hours till 1400, just a quarter of an hour ago, we have averaged just under five and a half knots uh, since midnight. So progress has been made but uh, at a fairly slow rate. So what's occurring? So I, I'm making brunch, uh, Commodore Sandra has got three of her fine fish out of the uh, freezer for me. She's not very keen on them uh, because of the number of bones. They're a bit like sardines, uh, but uh, I like them and I hate to see them going to waste. So I'm just about to uh, saute three for my brunch or uh, afternoon tea, whatever I call it. I've got some onions, I'm going to make some garlic butter with it. I've got some uh, garlic, uh, we've got some mushrooms which are uh, dehydrated uh, uh, desiccated mushrooms that we have had uh, since we were in Thailand. We bought them in Thailand and uh, we decided we'll start using them up uh, now. And we've got uh, rehydrated some of them, so I'm using some of those. And I've got a, a chopped up jalapeno to add a little bit of spice to my life. So that's what we're going to do now. And I shall cook myself something to eat. Lovely. Afternoon, guys from the good ship. Not so bad. This is the view we have, and I have to say it hasn't really changed very much since Saturday lunchtime-ish, and the wind settled down. This is the way it's been. Sometimes there's been a little more wind. Sometimes there's been a little less wind. Sometimes the waves are a bit more higgledy piggledy. Sometimes they've been even less than this. But we just keep plodding along at four or five knots and waiting for real wind to arrive, which the Met Man says it will. But he's been saying that for a long time now. He also says that we're supposed to have a minimum of nine knots. We haven't seen nine knots since Pontius was a pilot. So, <coughs> mustn't complain. It's a nice day on the North Atlantic. Well, we're barely in the North Atlantic, we're 11 degrees north now and still going south, so that's the way it is.
is it? It's Tuesday the 13th, I think. About half past three in the afternoon, 25 past three. And uh, as you can see, we've got wind, it's 13, 14 knots. Uh, it returns yesterday morning, it suddenly returned. And uh, although it's been a bit up and down since then, it's been pretty much uh, 10 to 15 knots since then. So we've been making pretty good progress. We're doing roughly seven knots, uh, which is not bad at all, not bad at all. The weather is beautiful, a little bit rocky and rolly, but mustn't complain. Not so bad. Today is the 14th of December and it's Wacky Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday coming up. Watch the waves. Wacky Wednesday not so bad. If we look at the instruments, I've uh, got the radar on as I say, there are quite a few of these showery clouds around. Um, but uh, as I say, none of them have really crossed us. The wind has uh, settled down, it's only a 14 knot, so we'll get pretty much everything out until we do have a, uh, a reef in the Jenny. Uh, that was really to stop it flapping about when we were going more downwind, and I might consider shaking it out. But 15 knots, it's time for one reef at least, uh, although normally I'd put that in the mainsail. So we'll stick with one reef I think. Uh, instrument wise, today we've already done 160 miles and we've still got uh, what, two and a half hours or so to go. Uh, we're whizzing along as you can see, uh, about eight knots or so, uh, which is very nice indeed. Very nice. Good morning guys. It's Friday the 16th of December. And we had a bit of a really cold night uh, with some pretty strong winds uh, up to 27 knots at one stage, although none of us actually noticed it. But uh, it kind of didn't uh, very long, but we would have noticed it, I'm sure. So uh, we're walking this morning, the wind dropped back towards the 15 knots uh, where it, it was for a lot of yesterday. In the evening it got up to uh, towards 20 and I put a reef in the main. A few minutes ago I shook it out. Uh, um, Still running the reef in the general, uh, but as I say, that was really uh, there for protection when they, uh, we were more in a broad reach, reach and it was flapping around rather a lot, making a terrible noise with the 15 knots or so of wind when it refilled. And it went whack and it uh, sounded like it was going to tear itself to pieces in the, in the shop. Room. So I put a reef in it just to make it a bit more stable. And now that we're back to sort of 15, uh, which is where I start putting a reef in, uh, I'll just leave it there. Um, I shook the reef uh, in the main out when we had 10 knots, so we, but it, as soon as I did that it probably got back up to 15. But that's alright, that's fine. Uh, we're, we're coming along at 7 knots or so, uh, partly because we're not hitting the waves too often, although they're hitting us quite hard. Uh, we've done 78 miles already today, although it is 11 uh, o'clock uh, hour uh, clock time, that's GMT actually. 11 o'clock to 7 7s uh, are 77, so we're doing just over uh, 7 knots an hour, which is uh, very nice indeed. And puts us on track for another uh, 
high hundreds of these uh, a day, uh, which is uh, very good indeed. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to Saturday the seventeenth. Oh, not so bad. On the Western Atlantic, we had a pretty rocky horror show, as uh, Sandra likes to refer to it. Uh, of a night, very roly, very bangy, very fast. From midnight, uh, we were averaging eight knots. And, um, we did a second reef in the main just before dinner last night and to keep things under control. And that was fine, we still maintained our eight knots, which is good. And then, uh, just around uh, seven o'clock, I was actually downloading the seven o'clock weather. Uh, the, I, I, as I was sitting downstairs doing this, I heard the wind increase, the boat speed increase. I rushed up to see what was going on, and um, boom! And uh, we had uh, a bit of a gust come through. It was 27 knots. You can see that 27 knots, and uh, we did 17.7 knots. So I quickly put the third reef in the mainsail and we've been running with it like that ever since. The wind has died down, it's uh, nowhere near 27 knots, it's more like 15 to 20. And I am toying with shaking out the, uh, the third reef. Closing in huh? on the Caribbean islands. We've done 2300 miles since we set off from Mindelo and it's Sunday the 18th of December. One week aiming, to Christmas. One week to Christmas, yes, as Commodore says. And we are aiming for the gap between Antigua and Barbuda. So, We've got about 230 miles to go to the uh, Persian border and uh, I think we're going to have to slow down tomorrow to get there in daylight. It's quite a narrow channel into Persian border and uh, there seems to be lots of rocks around. I don't want to make a mistake. So, bye for now. Not so bad. Go, which is a bit of an issue because uh, 
the time now is 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it'll be light in about 3 hours. Uh, 3 and a half hours. But uh, we're not going to get there in the light. So we're going to have to slow down to get there. Not to today, but tomorrow. Captain's in action today. Oh! Oh! Go, Captain! Go, Captain! Go, Captain! Oh, yeah! All right, Captain! Okay, Captain! Get it to the ground, Captain! Captain is a group this morning! Sledgehammer! Oh! Aha! You see, this Captain is full of... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Multitasking Captain doing his thing on Monday morning, the 19th of December 2022. Good evening everybody. It's still Monday the 19th and uh, the sun is just going down as you can see another beautiful sunset. Uh, it's also been strange because uh, we had to slow down uh, because uh, we wanted to get to Gun Creek uh, first thing in the morning uh, with good sunlight and the way it was we were going to get there tonight at about now about nine, nine o'clock uh, GMT if we'd kept going so we reduced the sail right down to just a slither of uh, Genoa and dropped the sail and just a slither of Genoa and uh, that all looked good until we heard that there was uh, possibility it seemed that the, the Gun Creek Immigration and Customs offices were no longer operational which obviously makes a big difference to us so after some consultations all the rest of it I've only just uh, changed the direction and we're heading to the west end of Virgin Gorda to uh, Spanish town of here we are passing through again between Brown Island as you have looking at Ginger Island on the left, as you can see we're using both our navigation systems to back up iPad as well as the chart plotter. It says uh, we have some warning about uncharted rocks all over the place, so it's a little bit disconcerting, but the gap is wide enough, it's just making sure you've got the right gap. And we're pretty much through, we've got the whole journey back out again, and we're back up to five knots, which is nice. Favourite Commodore. Here we are. Yes, unbelievable, we've made it. 20th of December 2022. Yeah. And we wanted to be on land for Christmas. And thanks to the team, we made it. We're here. We're in the uh, marina. We sort of dice with this big thing out there isn't on the way in, but uh, uh, not much. And then we just came in here. Uh, there was no answer on the radio. So we just chose a spot and parked. And we were parked up on a nice big dock that was easy to get in. Sandra did a good job. She got a little help from the guy from behind. He's just come in yesterday from Mexico. It's quite a sail. But uh, yeah. From our point of view, we've done 2,533 nautical miles. miles, yeah. We did 51.3 today, and um, on the maximums, we had a maximum of 31.6 knots, and uh, we did a maximum speed of 17.7, which is rather more than I would have liked. But there we go, we're supposed to be looking after the yacht. Uh, we'd have to do our best, must do better. Anyway, there we are, Virgin Gorda, after 20, what is it? 20 days, no, 19 days, because we left Cape Verde on the 2nd Second. of December, yeah. today is the 20th, so record one day off, um, yeah, yeah, life is great, oh. every, every day is a new day for us. Thanks,